My name is Marcus Young. Why is it important for people to understand the Constitution and the rules of the three branches of government? If all power were lodged in the executive branch with the president, then we would have a dictatorship. And if all power were lodged with Congress, we would have tyranny of the majority. And we know that there have been times in our history where the majority has imposed its will against the constitutional rights of others. And that's where the judicial branch comes in to enforce the protections of the Constitution to make sure that even minorities have rights, minority groups of any kind, and it's not just race, it's not just sex, it's various minority groups are protected by the Constitution. The critical thing, of course, is that we expect our president and our Congress uh, members to reflect the will of the people in order to do their job properly because they do represent us. But we don't expect the judges to do that. We expect judges to administer justice, which means that they don't decide what the popular will is. They should decide what the popular will is. They should decide what's fair and impartial based upon the rules that, the, that have been handed down from the other, from the other branches. The primary power that relates to this question that the judiciary has is the power to interpret and enforce the Constitution because the whole constitutional system of separate, setting up separate branches and then providing for checks and balances doesn't work if there's not an enforcement mechanism. And that's where the courts come into play. They have the opportunity to say, no, this is exceeding your power within the separate powers that have been established and therefore you're going to have to stop whatever it is you're doing. If the President or the Congress enact laws that violate the fundamental principles of the Constitution, it's the judges that will uh, correct those errors. Other checks and balances, however, are that the Congress can change the laws. Judges are to enforce laws as written so long as the laws comply with the basic principles of the Constitution. But if the Congress believes, as representatives of the people, that the judges have misinterpreted the law or not carried it out in ways Congress intended, then Congress can change the law. Similarly, if the President uh, believes that uh, judges are not uh, carrying out the Congressional will and his belief as to what the laws mean, then the President has the right to appoint different judges over time as new openings arise. I've had the opportunity to travel to more than 15, 20 countries in my eight years on the bench. And elsewhere in the world, our um, judicial system, because of the concepts of separation of powers and judicial independence, is really you know, a model for the rest of the world. They look to us. And you contrast that with, for example, the system that prevailed in Russia, you know, the former days of the, the old Soviet Union. They literally had what they called telephone justice, where a call would come from the Kremlin to someone out in you know, one of the states telling the judge how to rule on virtually each and every case.